Hello and welcome to the Ross Cam with Movement Week 3. Okay, so the objective for today's session is to show you how to connect Movement with a real robot or in this case a simulated one. So I'm showing you this um, diagram over here to show you what step we're going to be doing today. So you see over here we have our robot or the robot controllers you may say. So what we're going to do today is what connect Movement with our real robot so that whatever plans we make inside of Move It can actually be executed on the real or in this case the simulated robot. This actually requires three steps. The first one is to tell Move It which controllers you want it to use and then which joints this controller actually controls. The second thing you're going to do is to Populate or let's say create the movie manager launch file, and then that's where you pass in this controller configuration you did in step one. And then the third thing, which is which is actually optional, is to create a custom launch to bring up your whole setup. So let's get started. So I'm going to switch over to the ROS development studio. Um, if you don't have an account, I think you should, you can create an account and then follow um, through with us from the week one to, um, this is a five week um, camp, so you can just follow on with us from week one and then all the way to week five. So step one, we're going to be creating this controller file that we want to move it to use to link with our simulated robot. So you go to the config folder inside the soya underscore move it underscore config folder that we generated in the previous week. And then here I'm going to create my file and then name it um, controllers.yaml. Okay, so double click to open it. In fact, let me make this full screen so that you see what we're going to do over here. I'm going to go over to my code studio and then copy the code here and then paste it we'll go through this code one by one let me make it bigger so that you can read from my screen okay so what do we have here this is a, a jamal file and then what we're doing here is what the name of the controller that we want move it to link to and then the specific um action server on which the action server namespace that's why we have action underscore ns on which our movie will be publishing and then the type is a follow joint trajectory i know this all sounds a bit weird and then this is um the joints that we want to be we want to control we have the right in the score j zero all the way through to six so if you go to the movie documentation you get a better view of what i'm trying to um show over here Normally, most um, robot simulations on ROS have this, but uh, they, they use the ROS control. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the effort joints, effort controllers, the velocity controllers, and the position controllers. But um, in the case of the Sawyer robot, it's quite different because the controllers are quite, they are custom controllers that they have, which is not entirely compatible with moving. So what happens here is, even though we are using um, a follow joint trajectory type, um, we'll be running this action server, which is acting as an intermediary between the custom controllers for the Sawyer robot and then the goals coming in from Move It. Because Move It actually publishes its goals on a follow joint trajectory type and then if you pass in any other controller well not that i've checked but then initially i tried passing in you know setting the um, soya controllers directly and then move it was just printing this messages that unknown controller and then all that stuff you can try it in your own time and then you, you get what i'm talking about all right so now that we've set up the controllers over here hit control s to save Okay, so that was step one. Step number two, uh, you go into the launch folder over here and then look for a file with the name controller underscore manager in it. It's a launch file. Um, we're going to be changing this 
so that it can load in our controllers whenever move it wants to communicate with the real robot or the simulated one so i'm going to paste in the uh the code that i have over here so what is happening well we just set in few arguments and then parameters that will be used when move it gets ready to roll all right so remember down here remember we created the controller the controllers that we set up actually had the file had the name controllers.yaml right well that's what we're doing here so we're loading the controller list up so that the manager can use so we use errors param file equals well we just locate wherever our controllers were stored and then so that this will be uploaded to the ROS parameter server we also set in a few arguments that's the mobile controller manager we set in it to be of this um, type that's the move it and it's called simple controller manager slash move it simple controller manager and then we also set in the move it controller manager parameter and then we just pass it in this so we could have done this directly but then these two lines over here give us some kind of flexibility you can run this launch file and then actually passing a name or an argument for the movie controller manager that's what we're doing this is nothing complicated and then we also set in the name for the the controller manager name right now we want to call it a simple controller manager so if you've been working with um, controller managers, you know that anytime you bring it up one, you have to give it a specific name so that you can access it. I mean, you can access it with its name whenever you want to do something related with it. Okay, so that's it for step two. Now that you have your launch file looking something like this, you I recommend you save it before we move on to the next step. Here we create our custom launch file to be bringing up the whole setup and then start. So for this step, we will be creating our launch file inside the launch folder. So new file, I'm going to call my mind connect dot launch. And then hit enter. Double click to open it, and then I'm going to bring in the code. I have here so control a control c then i'm gonna paste it over here. let me change the type so that the syntax highlighting will be clearer okay so what is happening in my custom launch file is very simple we have an argument called config we set it to true we we'll see what we use it further on and then you know when move it created this uh configuration file for us it also had specific setting for the RVS interface well that's what we're loading up over here so we're locating it and then saving it to this RVS underscore config and then the next thing we're doing is since our robot is using the electric gripper we have it turned on remember we did that in the previous session that was week two well we need to set this to true all right and then once the electric gripper is on then we have to set this one the tip name you know what we this is actually pretty simple we using this is an if else something but then in the launch syntax is actually if unless so if the electric gripper is set i mean if the electric gripper is true then set the tip name to be right underscore gripper underscore tip if it isn't then just set it to right hand because we will just be have we will just have only the hand i mean the articulated hand or arm if you may say without the end effector with it but in this case we do have it so this is, the tip name is going to be set to write underscore grip underscore tip all right the next thing is we bringing up the planning interface that's the planning context i mean this is a launch file over here yeah this one over here that's why we're including it so it's just we set in a bunch of arguments, we bring it up the planning um, context, and then inside here we also pass in a few um, arguments of our own. Okay, so here load robot description value set to false. What we're saying is it shouldn't override the already running simulation. So this is what I'm talking about. We have our simulation running over here already. If 
this is set to true however it's going to try and then loading the urdf or the chat profile that we used to create the configuration previously but we don't want that to happen we want it to go with what is already loaded to the parameter server since it's the same robot and then we also telling it that the electric wafer value um, is set to true and then we're passing in the name for the tip or you can call it the end effect and then <clears throat> we're bringing up the move group node remember the move group node is the glue of move it it pulls um, some parameters from the parameter server it offers a bunch of interfaces with which we can communicate with it but for this session we're using the graphical user interface through our race. and then we are connecting our robot to the specific move so it's like uh, it's this master node that does all the internal and then all the stuff involved with arrays <coughs> okay and then the next thing we're doing is also what starting the move it underscore arrays dot launch that's actually what is going to start arrays and then we're passing in the configuration remember whenever you create a move it configuration package it creates this RS config for you. That's why we just locating, storing in this variable and then passing it over here. So I'm going to hit Control S to save. And then we can go on to test our robot. Okay, so now that our setup is complete, before we start moving and then make our plans and then check the execution in the simulation first thing we're gonna do is to bring up the action server i spoke of provided by <coughs> the sawyer package that interfaces uh, move it with the custom controllers that comes with the sawyer robot so right now if you do a ROS topic list to see what we have here um, you see that we don't have any action server running for us actually if you should run move it, the move it configuration without the action server you're going to be getting a bunch of errors <coughs> sorry telling you that um, it just cannot find the joints and a lot of other stuff so to do this you just do a rush run interra underscore interface and then the joint trajectory action server okay so it says no model named interra interface well i think i'm supposed to source the simulation workspace first Okay, all right, with that done, I'm going to run the script to bring up the action server again. Okay. So, hopefully, yes, it works this time. All right, so let's start our launch file, the one we created in step three of this. So, ROS launch Sawyer move it underscore config and then i remember naming my mind connect or something all right so you hit enter and then hopefully everything runs so to view um the graphical interface you go to the drop down here then click on graphical tools to bring it up let me pull it over here login and then yes so um, the window is a bit hidden over here. Let me just pull that into the interface. You can use this command over here to drag it into view. So I'm going to double click <coughs> to set it and then maximize. Okay. Alright, let me bring the robot into view. So you can see that let me make this screen a bit bigger so you can see that the robot in moving has exactly the same 
um, configuration. What I mean by this is the transforms are exactly the same as what we have in the simulation because we've now connected the two um, it's picking the TF the, the transforms that are being published um, by the real robot or in this case the simulated robot that's why it's having the same exact pose as ours so now we're going to switch to the planning tab and then I'm just going to do anything random so I'm setting a random goal and then I'm going to do a plan and execute so it's going to plan and then if we are successful okay it says no execution attempted plan failed let's try this again okay so the plan finished successfully you can click on execute to see your robot execute this plan right, so let's plan this again and then you hit execute to execute the plan that was created in Mobile. so um, without wasting much time that's it for connecting your real or simulated robot with Mobile. 